cash is the anchor to the system. If something goes wrong, we run to cash. If cash were to disappear, then we need to have a digital equivalent. A euro that we use every day uh, digitally comes from our bank accounts. A digital euro will come from an account that we will have by the central bank. The difference is that a digital euro in the central bank will be fully guaranteed by the state, but the euros that we have in the banks today are only partially guaranteed. Effectively, the consumer will see very little difference. Uh, we will pay probably with a QR code or with a phone or with a card. So actually, the experience for the consumer will be very, very similar. It is about confidence in the system. More and more we are paying uh, with digital means, which means that the cash is uh, becoming less and less popular. Cash is the anchor to the system. If something goes wrong, we run to cash. If cash were to disappear, then we need to have a digital equivalent of cash, and that is very much the motivation behind central banks and being interested in central bank digital currency. In my view, it is unlikely that cash will be totally eliminated. We thought that it will be eliminated. It might reduce in the future, given that the society is becoming increasingly digitalized, but I doubt that it's going to be totally eliminated. There will always be cost for creating something. The question is who pays for it? For the moment, it is really the central banks that are designing this. Effectively, it is the taxpayer, and it is unlikely that it will go in any other way, meaning that private firms will have to pay for it. Privacy and anonymity are not the same thing. The European Central Bank is very clear that it wants for its digital euros to be private, namely that we cannot be able to trace the types of transactions that people are doing, but they will not be anonymous, uh, and that is absolutely essential in order to avoid uh, issues with uh, money laundering. Consumers worry about uh, their anonymity because cash payments are anonymous payments. Uh, for small amounts, payments will be anonymous, but for bigger amounts, they will no longer be anonymous. The ECB is in, uh, very much in the thinking stage right now. The next step will be whether it wants to go into the stage of designing it. So in any case, if it were to go with it, and it has not decided that it will go with, uh, through with it, it will take at least another two years before we can actually think about the digital euro in operation.